Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. According to the conventional manufacturing process, the EUV lithography machine is a complete assembly line, and the process level below 7 nanometers can only be manufactured by the Dutch ASML products in the world. This Big Mac that almost monopolizes the entire world has a negative impact on the entire world. The semiconductor industry plays a decisive role. It is generally believed that ASML will have a bright future in the world chip market with its strong strength. However, the United States has revised its rules again and again, so that the world's most cutting-edge EUV lithography technology has begun to be eliminated due to the lack of core technology. First, in order to break through the United States' restrictions on nuclear energy, China independently developed extreme ultraviolet lithography machines. Although ASML stated that China would not be able to manufacture an EUV lithography machine even if it obtained China's design drawings, this did not intimidate Chinese scientists. Instead, the Chinese Academy of Sciences gathered the strength of the entire hospital and formed a special research team to strive for early breakthroughs. In recent years, with a number of local lithography machine manufacturing companies such as Guowang Optical Technology, Huazhou Precision Technology, Changchun Institute of Optics and Mechanics, and Shanghai Microelectronics, in addition to making breakthroughs in light sources and lenses, they have also established a completely industrial system has laid a solid foundation for China to manufacture more high-end lithography machines. Therefore, China can see that ASML has changed its strategy and issued a warning, saying that if it does not sell lithography equipment to China within three to five years, ASML will be completely in its hands, and ASML may fall into a crisis of bankruptcy. Secondly, in order to reduce production costs, Southeast Asia is also developing improved lead-free processes and packaging processes. As we all know, the current mainstream silicon wafers have entered the 3 nanometers process, and TSMC and Samsung have also reported plans for mass production. However, Due to the limitations of process technology, the mass production progress of TSMC and Samsung in the process is not ideal. The process cost of the 3 nanometer process is several times higher than that of the 5 nanometer process, and the yield rate has plummeted. This is clearly inconsistent with the business practices of all profit-driven contract manufacturers. Moreover, ASML's current production capacity is almost saturated. Things like EUV lithography machines are out of reach in many industries, even if you have money. The NIL process developed by Canon Jiren and other companies can directly manufacture the 5 nanometers per 3 nanometers process without using the EUV process, achieving the process time required for the 5 nanometers per 3 nanometers process. By 2025, the process cost will be reduced 90%. After all, in the large scale semiconductor industry, 80% of equipment investment is used for manufacturing. This shows how important it is to lower the price of a piece of equipment. At the same time, a wave of small chip technology has also emerged in the chip market around the world. 
More than a dozen multinational companies, including TSMC, Intel, and Samsung, have established small chip technology. Chip Alliance Apple launched the M1 superprocessor, which uses two lower-end millimeter 1 max processors, which doubles its performance. It should be noted that Huawei announced chip stacking technology similar to small chips two years ago. Huawei Chairman Guoping once again emphasized at the recent financial report meeting that in the future, we will use a multicore structure to trade large area for performance and do not need two high-end devices to build a high-performance processor. In addition, after the disaster, the Russian market is planning to invest 670 million rubles in the development of X-ray lithography technology. Although most people are not optimistic about semiconductor research, the domestic technological foundation is actually quite strong. Whether in the computer field or in the basic field, there are a considerable number of mathematicians and physicists. You know, the Soviet Union has not inferior to the scientific and technological strength of the United States. The newly developed X-ray lithography method can replace the traditional X-ray lithography method in the United States with higher resolution and higher wafer production method. Generally speaking, many countries or regions are now adopting independent power supply lithography machines, and the possibility of EUV lithography machines being replaced is also increasing. No matter which type they are, they will soon be eliminated and occupy the market. Leading position The reason is obvious. ASML is the only company in the world capable of manufacturing EUV lithography machines, but the final decision-making power still lies with the United States. The United States' attempt to control the world's high-precision technology and its changes to various international regulations have put the economies of other countries in trouble, aroused public outrage, and have determined that EUV lithography machines will be eliminated. Under such circumstances, ASML has become the world's largest lithography machine manufacturer with its EUV lithography technology. I am afraid that I did not expect that the situation would change so much. EUV lithography was only developed in 2015. It is only seven years old now, and its global share is still very low. Facing the world's nuclear shortage, ASML has spent huge sums of money to expand the production capacity of EUV lithography machines to cater to market needs. Now, these equipments have been replaced by logos, all of which will make ASML's achievements come to nothing. This is the so-called science without borders. American technology is unreliable and cannot be bought, exchanged or requested. It is hoped that some domestic enterprises can learn from this experience, abandon the bye-bye mentality, strengthen independent research, and get rid of the label of mediocre and big hat as soon as possible.